of all congratulations for starting a business on instagram and if you already have a business and you're just looking for motives congratulations for having a business please make sure you watch till the end of the video because the tips that i've shared towards the end that are going to help you not lose your account because if you don't follow them you just might lose your instagram account <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for choosing to watch my video today. Let's go straight into the 7 tips for starting an Instagram business in 2022. The first tip is try different types of content. Single posts and carousels are the most common content types used by businesses and they work perfectly fine, they are good. Um, however, there are different forms of content. There's video content and in video we have live, we have um, videos themselves, we have reels and all that. So you want to try out different content types and in 2021 there's a lot of video focus on Instagram and it's not going to be any different. If anything, they're going to focus even more on Instagram, um, videos on Instagram in 2022. So please, you want to make sure that you include videos um, it can be a video showcasing your product, it can be a reel, it can be using um, a video creative when creating ads, whatever, but please don't just focus on single posts and carousels, include videos, just try out different forms of content. The second Instagram tip that I'd like to share with you is have a strategy. Do you have a strategy? If you've answered no, you need to have one. And I know the assumption is I know Instagram and so I don't really need to have a strategy. But let me tell you, a strategy is a very important. A strategy will help you, you know, just take time, set goals for your business. A strategy is going to help you understand your clients really well. And you can sell to people and sell to them the way you want to if you don't really understand them. A strategy is going to help you create content that will enable you achieve these goals, you'll be able to monitor and measure um, your goals through this strategy. A strategy is a very, very, very important. And if you need help in creating a social media strategy, click the link in my description box and we're going to have a two hour one on one session and I'm going to guide you in creating a social media strategy. But please make sure you have a strategy for your business. The third Instagram tip is switch to a business account. So please look at your account. If is it a personal account, is it a business account? And you're a business. It's not impossible to sell on a personal account. If anything, there are people who have personal accounts and they sell their things there. However, you having a personal account and running your business there limits you a lot. A business account gives you a lot of data that is going to help your business. And this data, you will not have it if you have a personal account. There's much more that you can do for your business with a business account. If you don't know how to switch from a personal account to a business account, this is how you do it. You're going to click on the burger menu that's on the top right. And then you're going to go to settings. Once you go to settings, you'll go down to account and then you scroll down, switch account type. So for this, because it's a business account, I can either switch to personal account or creator account. So for you, if you have a business and it's not a business account, then you're going to see the option to switch to a business account and that's what you're going to select. And if you need help, I um, mean, knowing how to interpret this data that you get and using this data to help your business grow even more because Instagram is going to give you all the data that you need for your business. So if you need help in interpreting it, just book a consult with me and I'm going to show you how to do that. The fourth tip is make your account public. And I know this is very obvious. In fact, you're probably wondering, Miriam, why are you telling us things that you did you know? But let me tell you the truth. This week, just this week, I have seen not one, but three private business accounts. And I really wonder, if your account is private, how exactly do you expect potential clients to get to know about your business? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Actually, if you have a private business account, please comment down below or just send me a DM. My Instagram is linked in the description box. And tell me, how exactly do you expect Clients reach you or why is your account private in the first place? I genuinely, genuinely want to understand because I've looked at all possible scenarios and it doesn't make sense to me. The only one that I've seen that maybe some people may be scared of is you've just started a business and you know how harsh people can be online and so you're trying to protect your business because this is like a baby. You know, sometimes you feel like your business is a baby. Um, but the truth is if you want this baby to grow, this baby has to be out there. 
they have to be out there if people criticize your business it's okay and that's the where the importance of filtering comes in so you filter you look at the criticism and ask okay so where is this coming from so is this good criticism bad criticism how is this going to help my business if there are things that you can't change then just appreciate and that's it you move because you can't always change everything you can't be a perfect business but maybe that some of the criticism that you're going to get and really that's something that's going to help you become a better business person or help you you know source better products and all that and overall your business is going to get better so just put it out there please don't make it private just make it public put it out there if you don't know how to switch it from a private account to a public account let me show you how to do it go to the burger menu on the top right and then click on settings and then you go to privacy and then now the account privacy that's where you make sure that it's gray meaning it's not a private account however if you have a business account that already means that your account is public but if you realize that your account is private then that means you're using a personal account to run a business so make sure you refer to the other tip that i shared where i show you how to switch from a personal account to a business account the fifth instagram tip i'd like to share with you is all about ads ads are not mandatory but they're very important and the truth is if you want your business to achieve all these goals even faster then you need to start making peace that you need to use ads it's either use ads or influencer marketing and if you don't have the budget to, you know to work with an influencer like create a whole campaign and offer an influencer ads are a good um substitute to, for that so um just make peace with the fact that you will eventually need to learn how to use ads and your business is going to benefit a lot from this ads don't feel pressured if you've just started and you don't have an ads budget don't feel pressured you have to run ads yet you don't even have the budget for that however later please make sure that you start Put setting aside the money now once your business allows set aside the money and um, to be able to run ads and learn all about ads in fact i have a training where i'm going to um train business owners how to create um successful ads on facebook and instagram i have linked it below you can join the training um so please just click that link and you'll be able to register for the training and i hope to see you there the sixth tip this is what i was saying can make you lose your account the sixth tip is don't steal images please do not steal images so you, you know that business owners who actually take time they plan shoot days they have their products they plan an entire shoot day shoot 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 take photos sometimes they can even have photographers other times it's them themselves doing it and then a lazy business owner goes ahead and takes those photos takes a screenshot and posts them as their own photos and consider that some who even take it are not higher they won't just post if you have like your watermark there they're not going to remove it they will post it with your watermark please we're not doing that in 2022 so a while back like even two years ago it was so hard for you to tell instagram oh i'm making a copyright claim because i'm the one who created um this image and all that and so please remove it was really hard and you had to rely on this other business owner who's copied or who's literally taken your stolen your images let's call it what it is they've stolen your images and posted it um it was really like you had to rely on them and then of course some of them were like where has it been written that it's yours and all that at how sure am i i've i've gone through that so i know but now it's very easy you just make a copyright claim on instagram instagram are going to review it and let me tell you they usually i think in 48 hours maximum they have responded and if they see that indeed because they usually you know this was the first person to upload this image this is their image they're going to remove it from now the person who stole your images are going to remove it and if you're that person who's been stealing images if that happens over and over again instagram says like you keep on getting copyright claims over and over again they're just going to delete your account so you don't want your account to be reported all the time what you do is either take your own photos or ask your supplier for images but don't take images from someone who has taken time to create them and then post them it's such a shortcut and imagine you're going to lose your account if you do that and if you make it a habit audit your instagram um please make sure that you audit it because an audit is going to help you see okay these are the goals we set in january 
it's september where are we instead of it gets to december then you're like oh my god what didn't we do what did we do so if it means having monthly audits if it means which can be a bit much but for starters because you don't have a lot of data to work with or you just say every quarter we are going to do an audit we're going to audit our instagram and see this is working this is not working and you can't do that if you don't take time to pause and see what exactly is working what is not working so please make sure you audit so that you know this we're going to drop this we're going to do less of this we're going to do more of and if you need help in doing an audit i can show you how to do it so you just click the link in the description box and book a one hour um one-on-one -on -one audit consult and i'm going to show you how to audit your business please please make sure that you know how to audit your business i wish you the very best in your business journey instagram is a good platform to make money you just need to know the ins and outs but i mean don't be too hard on yourself you are eventually going to learn but nonetheless i wish you the very 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 best i will see you here next week in the meantime may all your dreams and goals come to pass bye bye <laughs>